with these bridges. What is the standard procedure when it comes to when the publishing process? You know it's not. I hate it too. My darling sister, good morning. Shewa. Good morning, good morning. We are streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So if you can join on YouTube, whichever one is okay for you. Hello, sir. Thank you. Eh, because I want to call you Kinja Koto Levun. Shewa, I want to call you Kinja Koto Levun. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Nkechi, good morning. How are you? Thank you. Show bold, exquisite. Abby Akins. Ah, any itikpati motirimbio. Moses, good morning. How are you from YouTube? Omoi Reary, good morning. Diana, good morning. Shanko Eno, good morning. Abby Ola, thank you. Show Ekaro. Tayo Son, good morning. Murphy, good morning on YouTube. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. You're welcome. Okay, walk. Okay. I'm on lie. Good morning. Bombay. My Bombay person. You know what I mean? Good morning. Fatal Michael. I'm waiting. You know what I mean? I'm waiting. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fab TV. Good morning. Ademola from YouTube. Good morning. Manuel. If I miss your name, I'm greeting everybody. Dollar Po, good morning from YouTube. Good afternoon from your hand. Good morning from here. Ekaro. Ekaro, Ekaro. Good morning. I greet every one of you. Um, people will join and they will watch later. So, Emma Binu, I wish I can work on a particular time, a steady time. But my problem is, let me, let me confess what my problem is now. I enjoy sleeping a lot. Let you know you should do me by. I enjoy sleeping a lot these days. You can say This one is better. I won't even like the sun. I changed the curtain of my bedroom so it's dark now. So, which one is better? Emmanuel Oluwashi, good morning. Shelly, you better. Abele. Abele. Blooming morning. Good morning. I should have to very good morning. What's the topic of the day? I said, listen to this pastor. Then I would analyze what the pastor said. Okay? Only travel here, continue to work. Are they sleep too much these days? I don't like getting up. I want to stay in my bed till about 11, 12. I wish I have that luxury. <clears throat> When I was in Nigeria, I used to do that because I own my business. But here, even if you own your business, you have to pay bills. Bill no go let you sleep too much. Ekara, Ekara, good morning, everybody. Um, to all our fans and friends and family in Baltimore, I hope you guys are safe. There was a collapse, a bridge. Francis Scott, I've passed through that bridge several times in Baltimore. I've passed through the bridge around 12 a.m. I've passed through the bridge in the middle of the night. Thank you, Diana. Uh, they said a ship that was passing under the water. You know here, the bridge, they have ship passing through it. And there is a morning sickness, they call. Afternoon sickness, in it. And there is a particular bridge here where they call drop bridge. That's one, if ship want to pass, they will stop all the cars. They will stop all the cars when the bridge is up, when the ship is about to pass, and they will separate and open that bridge, and the ship will pass in between. I pray not to witness that because I don't like water, you know. But uh, the bridge is there on some of our road here in America. When the ship is about to pass, they will stop all cars. They will stop some cars um, some miles away. Then the bridge will now open, separate, and the ship will pass in the middle. 
But for that particular place, it is Francis Scott Bridge, where there was a um, casualty, where there was accident overnight. They said it actually happened. Just okay, you have it in London too. Okay. So did that one see me had a good morning. Uh Moshewa, you're welcome. Moshe Bolaton, you are welcome. Titi Lola Falano, you're welcome. So it passed. Um, they said the ship was passing, and I think probably it was too high. I don't know who gave it clearance. Already they are seriously talking on it. There is casualty. They said there were cars um passing through. Of course, America is always busy. America do not sleep. So there were cars and you know, truck during the time it was happening. So they don't know. Two people were rescued, but seven more. Are they sure? It's like they are not sure of how many cars was passing when it happened. I will maybe a minimum or really good news in that. So they are still looking. They said some cars went down. They are really, really working on it to see how they can rescue people out of it. And the ship is still stuck there anyway. And uh, the people in the ship are still there. Uh, it's, uh, we pray not to see something like that. And this is why it's very necessary as a people. Always share your location. Share your location. Me, my children, all of them, there is no where one will be, the other will not know. Me, they monitor all my movements. If they see me in a strange place, they will call me. Mommy, what are you doing there? That is how much they monitor my movements. You, you have to have somebody you trust to monitor your movement for your own sake. For your own sake, for your safety. Thank you, Queen. For your sake, for your safety. You are especially in your Queen. They might hide the location. Eh? Now, at least if some people can't see their family, they can always call the 911 and tell them, my family passes through this bridge. We are looking for them. So they will know how many people. Because it was in the middle of the night, 1.30 a.m. or so, or 1 a.m. when it happened. So, me, Rupi, I won't go really more, more uh, much of people that were inside that water now. So, please, always share your location with your people, your family, your friends. You should have somebody you should be able to trust. There is no how you will not have somebody to trust, except you are a bad person. Except you are caught in corners. Except you are doing something bad. That is when you will be hiding. That is why, I mean, I love peace, so I love peace. That's why I cannot do anything bad. I love peace. I don't want to ahala. And that's why I don't tell lies. It's not as if nobody, as if I don't tell some, there are some lies you will tell, but there are some lies you don't tell. You know, there are some lies you don't tell for your own safety. Share your location with your people. It's very important. There should be somebody you should trust. Somebody you should be able to say, yes, this is where, me is already on my share location permanently. The same thing with my children. The all of them, they share, it's only me they didn't share location with. It's only one of them that is sharing location with me. The rest, they say, my brother, no. My sister, no. Mommy, don't bother. And when I when they are not coming home on time, I will ask, do you know where he is? They will say, yes, he's in school. Where is your brother? He's in school. Where is your brother? He's at work. I'll just check his location. Then I can go and sleep. You know, you should encourage your children to be your children's friend so that they can trust you to even if they don't share with you, they can share with their siblings or their daddy or mommy. They should be able to share with somebody. Anyway, good afternoon and welcome. I'm your host, um, Aduni, and the name of our page, if you are just getting to see us on YouTube, on Facebook, the name of this page is Real Talk with Auntie Aduni. And we talk on religion, most especially, we specialize on talking about lies of religion. We talk on um, relationship, if we see, and we talk on trending issues. So I want to welcome you as you join me this morning. And let me give us, I have a good news for us. Um, radio station, uh, you know, sometimes ago I was interviewed by a magazine. Radio station wants to interview us again on this page. They said they love what we are doing. And it's a very big personality in radio station. I was surprised when I saw his message and he mentioned his name. And I went to check to be sure that uh, it is not an imposter, an uh, impersonator of whatever they call imposter. Yeah, I'm right. You know, so I went to, uh, I want to check uh, what, uh, who the person is so that could he get fake or scam person. And lo and behold, is actually the person. And we had a conversation. 
and he said, I've been following your page. I'm following you right now. I've subscribed to your YouTube channel. I can see what you are doing, even though a lot of people may not agree. Some of us know you are saying the truth, and uh, we want to have a time with you on our radio station. Can you choose a convenient time for yourself? And I said, okay, let's choose a time. I've chosen a time, which is next week, Friday. We would have done it this Friday, but because um, there is an early public holiday, I guess, in Nigeria this weekend. Um, Good Friday, they call it, right? Uh -huh. And I know it's a public holiday. Here, there's nothing like that. You will go to work. Public holiday on Good Friday and uh, Easter weekend. So it's going to be next week, Friday. I will tell you the time. I think it's about 9 a.m. American time, uh, Nigerian time, which is 4 a.m. here. But I have to just agree because, you know, they always have slots on radio station. So the slot the man has is a very, very popular man. I will let you know. The slot he has is 9, 9 a.m. And I say, I will do it. Don't worry. Um, if this is to reach out to more people, for them to be free from all this um, indoctrination, all these uh, people calling themselves men of God that are not men of God, all these Pokotua people, I call them Pokotua, in Ozo. It's going to be live on radio and it's going to be streamed on Facebook. I think they have a Facebook page too. So it's going to be streamed on Facebook page. It's going to be on Zoom. Um, um, I'm ignoring my um, comments. Don't worry. Let him be crying. Um, you know what? What did you call his name? Akene Bishop. Okay. Let me look for his name and block him instantly. Okay, I've seen him. Let me block him. I've blocked him. I've blocked him off. Don't worry. Am I just stressing you? I don't worry. You too, but no. I don't want to know what I'm doing. Please keep showing love and share. Yeah, April 5th. April 5th. Please love and share, love and share. Uh, you know, they don't like us talking. The people... Like, um, there are some things I can't say. It's because of community standard. Make I talk and for broken. Person where they hold down. No, no, say they hold them down. Mm. As long as they are giving him false soap for tomorrow. You know, no, say that person where they give him false soap. Now, nah, use it, they use them for to better in whole life. So, they don't know. So, when we are talking, now we, they see as enemy. Um, and they think they are God of men where they use their life, now in love them pass. I wonder what I want to gain from them if I am doing this. I am talking from experience. I just got off the phone from a mother way in Peking. Oh. Eh? <laughs> Uncle Jimmy of Nigeria Info, he has already put it on his own Facebook page. Okay, so somebody has busted the bubble. He said Uncle Jimmy of Nigeria Information. He has already put it on his own Facebook page. He said it's Lagos, uh, Lagos, Lagos, something, 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 by Boru call radio station, yeah. But I have the flyer too. So he has already put it out, which is good. Then I can put it out now. I was waiting for him to do that before I do it. So since he has done it, I will put it out by myself too. So that said, eh, I did talk about all this. Eh, when we won't reach the real Coco, I will switch to broken English, you know. So, person where they chain as they talk, where they put down. If you remember, many of you have watched a Red Man movie. If you have watched a Red Man movie, please show me some love. A Red Man movie. A Red Man say, in office save many people because now only few of them understand, say, they hold them down. He said, the only people where if he save, now the people where ready to be saved. So, now it be the case of this thing where we they do. No matter what we do, the people that will be there will be there. The people that will be casualty will still suffer casualty. Like a mother that called me this morning, she has become my friend and a sister, a big sister. We shared a lot. And I, 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 despite feeling for her, there is little I can do. Like I told her, I told her, if I want to make money off you, if I'm doing this thing for financial gain, I will say, oh yeah, let us go into social media. Oh yeah, carry yourself. Come, come and talk, come and expose. I said, it won't do anything in this case. I have gone to the church. I have seen what is happening there. What I saw, what happening in that... Balanli Ayeni, good afternoon, my sister. I could join her. What I see happening in that church is not different from what is happening in um, Pentecostal 
all these Pentecostal, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's what I call them. Because I got there, all the guy was preaching was talking about money, money, and money. And it was putting fear, putting fear. Imagine somebody telling you, say, before you won't collect offering and tithes, can they tell you, say, as in they see, God tell and say, pie is very close around. And that pie is by their window and their door and is knocking on their door. And God don't tell them, he don't give them in granite oil. You know their granite oil, where they take uh, fried chicken. He say, God don't give them granite oil. Where they call anointing oil. He say, God don't give them granite oil. He don't pray on the granite oil. Say on that, am I show love and share, please? On that granite oil, he say, God say, make him touch their head. Make him come give them small. Make them carry and go put them on their car. For America, not Nigeria. America here. He said, make them go put the granite oil, where they call anointing oil. Make them put them on their car, put them on the door of their window, put them on their door, rub it everywhere, so that pie will not come. I look like this. I say, hey. And the funniest thing be say, na young, young people, they inside that church. People in their 30s. And I was not surprised when the mother of this lady was sharing with me. The lady we are thinking we could rescue. But I told the mother, I said, you can't rescue your daughter. What I saw, I'm talking about this because I've shared with her and you don't know her. I said, what I saw in that church, your daughter is far gone. Your daughter says some things to me I can't tell you. She said she already knows what she could tell me. I say what? She said the daughter told her that she would choose her father in the Lord hmm? above her parents. And that was what she told me. She said, ma, I know they are my parents. I know they are my parents. He said, but I will choose my father in the Lord over my parents anytime. I said, what? She said, I know what I am saying. My father in the Lord mean more to me. Well, so the mother come, they tell me everything where she they do for the Peking. Everything where she they do. So tell Peking for America, we get good job. They broke. To the extent of getting broke. Because all the money she's making, she's giving Paito. The girl is becoming so broke that the mother has to be rescuing her. I'm not talking of a little baby. I'm not talking of a teenager. I am not talking of somebody in her 20s. I'm talking of somebody in her 30s. The mother has to rescue her several times financially. And this morning I told her, I said, stop rescuing her financially. She has to get into trouble to learn her lesson. Stop rescuing her. I said, the only thing is that keep in touch. Because if you don't keep in touch, if anything happens to her, she will not call you. And it can result to what? Maybe her, her, her enemy losing her life. So I say you have to keep in touch. It is as bad as that. All these children are the one funding this particular God of man. Not only funding this man, they are funding him even with his estate back in Nigeria. The guy already has an estate in Nigeria. He has a big church too in Nigeria. Not only that, what I noticed, I would not be surprised if this pastor, the Kerewa, these children, these young people, young ladies. Because when he was singing, when this guy was singing, you need to come and see the kind of the kind of <laughs> you could really come and see the kind of dance the guy was dancing. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to be distracted though. That's why I'm not reading uh, the comments. You need to come and see the kind of dance. This guy, they dance. Like person where they do career on stage. Me as a grandma man, that's why they look. Say, wait me this one. This one, I dance. This one, move. Thank you, Jere. I say, this one, I dance. Now nah, I look. Now nah, I look. I say, yeah, move. Okuni, I'm about more you soon. I'm about ladies, you soon. It's as bad as that. Thank you very much, Mary. So, if you like, listen. If you like, no listen. <clears throat> so, the woman was telling me that why she's scared is because a particular boy lost his life in that, in that place last year. He said the boy cut off from his family totally. He doesn't talk to anybody again. And probably he was broke. He doesn't have money um, to pay for insurance and everything. And I don't know, or maybe he doesn't know much of the system. And this boy became sick, a young man, 
a young adult became sick and uh, before they know it, the boy don't cry. You know, it was after he cry, they now reach out to the family. And of course, because he's an adult, I, like I told you, I say your daughter is an adult. An adult, you can't fight somebody for an adult. They will tell you, is an adult, she knows what she's doing. So, I told her, it is love that you can use to draw your daughter back. Just keep sending her message. Check up on her. Let her have that freedom to come back to you and start talking to you back once in a while. You know, so that if anything is going wrong, she can communicate. But stop giving her money. Don't rescue her. Stop rescuing her financially. Stop rescuing her financially. She, she's working. So where, what is she doing with her money? You know what she's doing with her money already? She's using it to sow in her father's kingdom, the father in the Lord's ministry, right? She's using what she's making to sow there. So let her continue. So when she goes bankrupt, let her go and meet her father in the Lord. That is the only way she can learn. That is the only way she can learn. Outside that, she will not learn. Outside that, she will not learn. And what I found there, are young, and my baby show love her job. They will flag my show. Because I learned the guy's case has once come on social media that it was those children, those young, young ones that were calling the blogger and threatening the blogger. I don't want to say much so that in case they get hold of the video, they won't know what I'm talking about. So let's listen to this man. I got this video and somebody sent it into my box inbox. Thank you, everybody, sending um, messages to my, I mean, videos for inspiration into my video to enlighten our people. This is a, I won't show the video because of, you know, copy, copy, whatever. I will just let you hear and I will see how they use all this manipulation to hold people down. And why people have to believe all these people um, at this dispensation still baffles me. Uh, in, that, in, that, in this video, I saw educated people. It is not a small church, it's a very big church. But come and hear the story people are listening to and clapping for. We analyze it. So are we ready? Please love and like so that they don't flag us. So that they are, they are here. They will not comment. They will not see anything. But trust me, they are here pressing and doing all sorts. Now, one year I just told my son, "Oku ni bo feri ode." Some people, no matter what we say, they are sold out. They are sold out. Not only sold out, they are what is the enori so? Who can whoever can say that in English, please? Enori so. What is enori so? Is Facebook Facebook having issues? Kilo nshele. Is anything happening? Am I distracted? Wow. The block 300. Baba, I need to I'm coming. I'm bringing 300. Shanti, if you... Baba, you see any? More video, I can't see. What is happening? Can't you hear me? My name, Angry. Am I distracted? Wow. Meat on the hang. Sacrificial lamb. Uh, that sacrificial lamb actually is okay. Uh, Meat on the hang. <coughs> I can see comments. Tamed animals. Whatever you call them. Erori is social. That's the only way I can put it. For people who understand Yoruba, Thai goats. Eh. Maybe. Maybe. Boy, Jack Agbo, let's listen to what this Baba said. I asked all the women who came to the crusade barren over the years and they now have babies I asked them bring out those babies let me see them and they brought 300 children Then I said, well, Yemi, you've preached in the crusade before. Should I be pausing to analyze or you want to listen to everything? Should I be pausing to analyze? Uh, 
Let's go back. So that the man said, um, the children they have in his church over the years were about 300. And uh, he called, or they brought all the children back to his church. All the 300 children. And pastor, you man, Pyro. Kile ito man, Pyro. Eje kagbo. Then I said, then bring out. I asked all the women who came to the crusade barren over the years. And they now have babies. I asked them, bring out those babies, let me see them. And they brought 300 children. <laughs> then I said, well, Yemi, you've preached in the crusade before. Then I said, I don't want to lose them. They should grow up where they were born. Samuel grew up in Shiloh until he became. So I don't want them to scatter. So I asked them to form a choir. And they formed children choir, 300 children. And they sing in my crusade every year. Their mothers joined them. So I appointed a lady that is so talented in music to help me coordinate them. Yeah, me see. Yeah, me see was coordinating them and organizing them. The ones that don't know how to sing yet, she will back that one while they are singing because that one is part of the choir. The ones that cannot say she will carry one here and be leading and directing. It's a sight to watch. One day I was preaching in Zaria and they called me that the MSC fell down and died. And I left the crusade that I was, I was weeping and I was saying to God, so I will not hear the MSC again singing. I packed my load and started traveling down. I met her in the University of Illinois Teaching Hospital, almost lifeless. Mm. And I went to her and held her leg. Muwake! Let me see. Pada. Talo maba me told you our mom. Then she opened her eyes. And looked at me and said, Dad, why did you call me back? <laughs> I had entered gate six. It remained one. And the angel to open gate seven put hand on the handle to say, and gate, gate seven is a glass door. And I could see paradise. I was already seeing Abraham. And looked at me and said, Dad, why did you call me back? I had entered gate six. It remained one. And the angel to open gate seven put hand on the handle to sin. And gate, gate seven is a glass door. And I could see paradise. I was already seeing Abraham. I was already seeing the angels in their choir and in their regal. And the angel put a hand on the handle to open it. I suddenly closed it back and said, go back. Your pastor has not released you, mother. And then she looked back and saw me weeping. And I was saying to her, Yeah, me see Nibulunlo. Kaluma Bami told you, I'm a woman. Call 
combat. <clears throat> See on how we remove the oxygen, remove the drip, all the gadgets attached to us. She removed it and got up and we went home. one <laughs> sit down the way you sit down in church don't use god as if god is to be used serve him So that whenever there is problem, we will have something to say. I'm a ring person. And there are many of you, if anything happens, we don't have anything to say. And there are people we are praying for. I want to pray, but we are not holy. Because the basis. Religious prayers. Political prayers. We do that a lot. Otherwise, So that the boiler, a boiler in the and the boiler boiled him. What was the job they get get And Hagen was called that your elder fell into a boiler, but they rescued him, but he has become he has been cooked. The Hagen came and grabbed him and held him and cried to God. And an angel of God appeared and repair all the damages in the body and told Hagen, go back with your elder. Go back to church with your elder because he's a serving elder. And if we allow him to go, we will miss him. I pray that you will add value to your discipleship. Now, I'm a Puritan. I can talk about this for a long time. And I know most people these days are not really committed to God. They just want to come and enjoy our signs and wonders and go away. I am the one to tell you that it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. Work on yourself in church. Develop yourself. Develop your relationship with God. Don't make serving God a hit and run thing. Be there for real. And let God know be there to be counted as one of the servants of God and one of the people serving God there. That's the way God wants it to happen. Don't become an abuser of God. I've seen that so many times. You know how many people we have prayed for and God did it. Whether first minute or last minute, at least God did it. That's the last time I saw them. And everything God does for you, he does it to pull you nearer. Everything God does for you, he does it to pull you nearer. Why was Israel gathering, gathering manna on daily basis? God needed them to be looking up to him every day. He could have provided what they can gather in one week. He will not do that. Because they won't come back again. Whatever God is doing for you, he's deliberately doing it to, to, to develop a relationship. God doesn't want you to abuse his power, abuse his knowledge and wisdom and whatever he stands for. I live among Muslims. I walk among Muslims all my life. Muslims, whenever God does something for them in the mosque, they become more Islamic. I know Muslims who don't even know where to face when they are doing prayer. But when God does something for them, if they secure a political appointment, they become more Islamic. They become more Muslim. But I've also seen Christians 
who benefited from several graces that God has given. They stopped coming to church. That's when they'll be going for meeting on Sunday. And sent to us, Pastor Eh, Nibinu, Ni Adra, Yiloba. And very soon they return from Abuja and come to nothing. And you can't come back to me again. You have to develop your relationship with God in such a way that there will be areas of issues that have not been accomplished which we can talk to him about to tell God that Oluwasemo Peosiku Lori Oroe Koti no baja yen ton ko le lo ni sin He can go now let there be areas of issues between you and God so that if the devil want to take you away, you even have a reason to say, Lord, I've not finished my tenor. Huh. I'm still on duty. I'm still at work. Yeah. Why and how and why not that a person like Joshua will say to the son, son, because I'm still working. If you go and set, work cease. But I'm still working. I'm still serving. My work is not completed yet. Son, stand down over Gibeon. Don't say, because I'm still working. You can give yourself time. You can give yourself time. Because you are not, you are not done yet. You can close shop now. You can order your time. You can command your opportunities. Now he says, Moon, don't stay where you are. I'm still working. A workman is a very powerful man. Mm. When Peter said he was going back to fishing, why did Christ not go and get another Peter and say, leave him here, people? He went and stood by the sea, still looking for him. Because he had only one Peter, and he can't afford to lose him. With all the investment God has invested into your life, what has he come down to? Mm. With all the miracles and the benefits of grace you have received over the years what has it come down to mm. there are last minute interventions in people's life that were wasted uh -huh. uh, i don't advertise their name especially when they are unknown is a big church is big but i don't when once people don't know their name i will not say their name somebody sent it into my inbox whatsapp you say auntie a work boss story. I want to tell you, you know, I love singing. Say it, I want to tell you a story. No be story, yo. I want to tell you a story. No be story, yo. Yeah. Waiting, it be, it be, it be, Waiting, it be, yo, it be, fabu. Eh, eh, eh. Waiting, it be, yo, it be, it be, I want to tell you a story. No be story, yo. Python don't tell us a story. No be story, yo. Wait till he say, na iro. Eh, eje ka koko mu, la ti. Fela on the beat, ni yo. You know, say fella na a philosopher. Fela was a prophet. Because of the way he dressed, Africa no listen to Ram. See the year away. I know fella when I was very small. In those days, um, Femi, Yeni, and their late sister Shola and their mom, they live opposite my mother's shop. So when fella comes to see them, he go wear only pants with only wives inside car. So when they look at my person, we know they're okay in those days. I don't see fella no be one, no be twice. When he go come that time, with only wives inside the car. Drop, where yeah, come down, come check uh, Femi, Femi, Yeni, and uh, Shola. They were, we know them, we were, we all played together in those days. They were living at, um, on um, Anikulapo, you know, Anikulapo, uh, Kiloruko Street, Akoguma, Akoguma Street. Nile Tongbe, Nile Amoshaki, Ukenongbe. So, fella, when he was in, alive, when he they sing, we say they sing nonsense and jagba jagba. Everything where he sing, you know, they see now. Uh, number one, Baba say, then gather 300 children for them over the years. 
Uh, Shola is late. I said that's their late sister. That was why I said one of their late sisters, Shola. Mm -hmm. Shola, no, that's why your gem mates. Yeni Jua, Lodada. Femi, no Jua. I think it was Yeni first, followed by Femi, then followed by Shola. Shola, go, go, la, your mates, that your man, she, repo. So, we were young, go, I carry gun, Lord, Timon, so, inigba, ye, o. We were still very young in our teenage. Yeah, Lord, Timon, so, ye. So, Baba said, they brought 300 uh, children, miracle children from his church, and they bring all of them. My question is, I was, does it mean those children were no more attending his church as at that time? That calls for questioning, that they have to go and get them and gather them together and bring them. If only we listen with open mind when these people are talking their stories, it's very easy to pick that they are lying. All of them have been lying to us all these years. And we will clap. I once clap for this kind of nonsense. So if you are still clapping, clapping now, it is not only you. Don't feel bad. Don't feel that. You are still deep into it. So you will continue to clap. I used to clap for this nonsense before. And until you are fully liberated, you will not question them. I have seen somebody wrote a comment and say, this woman, what is your problem with the God of men? Ah, me and God of men, we wear the same trouser. Me and all these people, we wear the same trouser. The damages they are causing, the wahala way they cause for people and family, no be here. If you have not been their victim, fine, good for you. And it doesn't mean you cannot be their victim. The day you will be their victim, now this page, I always tell you, the woman will call me. Where, where I, I am, I handle case over the weekend. Where I go to church. Where I tell you, I go to church. Now, I spy, I go do for the church. Now, investigation, I go do. That woman was a strong member of Redeem. Now, person will go down at a point, abuse me too, at a point. I'm very sure if she see my type, she go down, call me name. She go call me Auntie, uh, Auntie Christy, Mommy Christy. No name, where she no go call me. In fact, she go say, Nami be the. Uh, D E V I L gong 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 gong. Now me. Now, if I want to ask you a question, all we say, um, according to what they told us, they say um, devil used to be an angel. What did he do? Where he can't become and where they can't change the name? They say he want to equal himself to God. Who did there when he and God fight? Now, question I go they ask you. Who was there when devil and God then they fight? We can resort to the God throw away the evil come out for heaven. Who did there when did they take when did they throw away? <laughs> well, I go ask you a question. So the man said 300 children and they brought them together. So my question is, how were they able to? Does it mean those children were not part of his church anymore? He just went to call them from different places and they brought them together. How were they able to gather 300 of those children? And he gathered them together. Now, the next question. Uh, he now said all the 300 children, he made them to form choir. Where he was going, he needed to start a story to lead to him doing miracle of raising somebody wake by. You see how they, they these people, how they, they tell their lie. I know never, you cannot beat them to it. You see how we start the story? Say he come from choir. Yemisi yeah, was a dedicated worker. He, where he was going was actually to tell the members to be a committed worker. That is where he wanted to go. But he had to start that story. He now said yeah, Yemisi was a dedicated, dedicated worker in the kingdom. He said, and Yemisi, yeah, as dedicated as Yemisi yeah, was, Yemisi yeah, go carry Peking for back. As he did, as he did train the children and guide them in the choir, something he said, Yeah, me see, thank you for me, Lola Taylor, my sister. He go carry those speaking, he go parry, pack the children for back. Okay, now he be the donor. He go carry those, he go, he said, he Go carry one small picking for back. Say that is how dedicated Yeah, me see was. He said, Now that kind of person then come call him, say, He buy. Remember the first thing he said. I feel revise and rewind them. Oh, he said them call and say, "Eh, hey, Ade Yemi." My question. I know. I know that is what the Bible says. Ade Yemi. 
who was there to record when they were fighting. It was not recorded in New Testament, in Old Testament. Now, inside uh, the one where they don't change, change for us, now there they go put them. I beg you, get out of here. I'm, just, I'm not asking you to get out of here, but I'm saying that, Lord, that story, now ordinary story, who was there when it was happening? Who recorded the fights? Who recorded as God and by and by? So God will be saying that all powerful, all powerful, all supreme, we get all the power to change and change things. Now in devil will come fight. Uh -uh. All he needs to do is to command devil. The way your God of man will tell you that by the time they call a Santa Nemo, they will you can command anything and it will come to pass. That is all God needed to do. He didn't how can God be fighting somebody? As somebody that is so powerful. I'm just asking. You are the one ridiculing God, not us. If you say he's all powerful and something where he creates, come they fight him, he get as he be. That one fight him, fight him, so they, he won't collect in kingdom. He can't carry him, he can't throw away him. I said that story. For me, we don't get sense. It don't make sense. So this man, if you remember when he was talking, he said, yeah, me see, pie. You remember? He said, yeah, me see, pie. He said they now called him. He said by the time he got there, Yemisi was almost lifeless. In other words, Yemisi was either in coma or Yemisi never gone. But he said Yemisi don't cry. You see another lie that didn't match up in the story. But the members were too carried away. And that is why when you hear your God of man, when they, they preach, they start telling you, you cannot hear an amen. Can I hear an amen when they are preaching to you and they are telling you, can I hear an amen? They are lying to you. That is when they start lying. They don't want you to detect their lie. They don't want you to know they are telling you stories that doesn't match up. So they will tell you, can I hear an amen? Can somebody shout hallelujah? They are want to confuse you at that time. Once you hear them, hear them start telling you, can I hear an amen? Can I hear you shout hallelujah? They are trying, they are about to do some magic on your head okay they are about to do magic on your head so he said yeah me see was spy i can rewind for you if you in case you miss it he said then call him say yeah me see don't buy but when he got there yeah me see was almost lifeless because when you lie your lie can never add up there are some that was why i started you know, from the from the beginning i said we lie but there are some lies i know they fit lie because I can never match up that stamina to keep the tempo. There are some lies. I don't even lie. At the, especially at this stage. I don't even lie again. If you want to buy me, cook buy me. That's why I will not do what I cannot defend. You know? So this guy, because he knows that people might understand and get it, he has forgotten what he started with. That the lady don't buy. He now said he was almost, she was almost lifeless when he get there. And in touch, yeah, me see leg and yeah, me see stand up and they can't go even. I say, he said, person wait talk, talk, say, yeah, me see don't wake up. Now he still talk, say, you follow, yeah, me see go collect, yeah, me see for heaven. Say, yeah, yeah, me see, come. yeah, me see, they tell and say, you for leave me here, you can't see Abraham. I will take no, say, now Abraham is see. I'm just asking. Now, question me, I go, they ask you. I will take no, say, the person where you see, now Abraham. In in Sabi how Abraham be, I be in don't see Abraham before. I be in be me to sell away where don't they live some millions year, years ago, because according to history, this this world has been existing over billion years ago. So I won't know the time where in come. I will text you say now Abraham in see. He say in see Abraham in go to heaven. So now let us leave all that story. All those stories he talk now he lead them to where he actually wanted to go, but he needed to start that story to manipulate the minds of people under him, to confuse their mind, to make them feel he know what he's saying. And when I see this kind of story, and I can't look at myself, say, even before now, so myself they believe this kind of story. How can somebody be telling me this kind of story and I will be clapping? You saw the people clapping. And people there are clapping. And so we say they always clap for them in those days. Praise the Lord.
Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. I need your amen. 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 I need an amen. Amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Once they start telling you that, calm down. Take your time and be listening to every details of what they are saying. Is that at that stage? They need your money. Is that at that stage? They need you to be committed to their business center. Is that at that stage? They need you to commit your fund. Is that at that stage? They want you to continue to be a mumu. So when they say amen, no say amen. No answer them. That time, you will see your brain begin to open. You go begin the pieces what they are saying and you will know it's not adding up. So this guy mixed up everything to confuse his people and they could not detect all the lies in that story. Now, it was now where he was now going was actually where he wants them to remain under him. He now started with the threats, which all of them usually do. Abido Shaker. <laughs> <coughs> if that Abido Shaker cannot follow her, I give up on our people. That's uh, what's that guy's name again? Uh, that guy that is uh, he said he has power, he has Gangandu, he has Keneko. What is that guy's name? If he can have member, I give up. Please love and like, love and like, they are here. So he now started with a threat, which they always do. And I always wonder why is it that their God, Odumeje, thank you, why is it that their God? Is always threatening people. Why is it that their own God is always caring people? Why is it that their own God is always confusing people? Especially threats and fear, creating fear. He now started. He said, God will not answer their prayers. That is a threat. That is a lie. That is a creating fear. God will not answer their prayer because they are not as committed as Yemisi. And people are believing until they become worker, until they become this, until they become that. Where you will live your time the same way here in America, that church that I went to on Sunday, the pastor already have a program from Monday to Sunday for his members here in America, not even in Nigeria. Monday, by 6 p.m., they have to come to church. That means once they are leaving work, they are going there. And some will not, maybe they will finish around 9, 10 to go back home. Some may have to go for their second schedule. That means some people might not even sleep at all. Tuesday, they continue. Wednesday, they continue. Thursday, they continue. Friday, they continue. Saturday, they continue. And Sunday, they come again for service. And you know what? They have three services. And for all the workers, they have to stay for the three services. These are the kind of time they preach and tell you that, are you saying you cannot live one day for God? That is when they will tell you, are you saying you cannot live a day for God and be committed to God's work? No. You are not committed to God's work. You are committed to a business of a pastor. You are committed to the business of a businessman who knows how to. Yes, in Yankee here. I was there yesterday. I mean, on Sunday. In Yankee here. Yes. Uh, oh, I have it on this, my other phone. I will put it out when I'm done. I screenshot the program. Let me see if I... Sent it to uh, gallery. Let me look for my this is a new phone, so I still find it tough to use. I want to see if I have the picture here. If not, when I am done, Where am I seeing? Anyway, when I'm done, I'll put it out there. Simba Sheton, I screenshot the program. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The guy engaged them. He has a program for them. No freedom. And that's why I tell you that, take it or leave it, believe it or not, it is nothing but a silly camp. It's where is there in a silly camp that they tell person. Somebody said, I've been a victim of that. I stayed in church throughout Sundays. I don't go home. We are told, we are, we think, I want to believe you. We want to say you think you are serving God. Thanks for, thanks to God for clarity and deliverance. Yeah, in America. Somebody asked, don't they pay bills? I just, when I started, I told you of one of them that the mother, the mother cried to me. She's the one that has been rescuing this, uh, my daughter, helping her to pay her debts. A lot of people are going through it here. They are on there, so they will not come and talk. They are still into it. Some are ashamed. They are out of it, but they are ashamed to come out and talk. But at least I just handled this case this weekend. Why I don't want to continue with it is because, um, I, like I told the woman, I said, if you continue, and your child, did, I've met with your daughter, and uh, if I mention, start mentioning the man's name and start talking, that might drive your daughter away from you, from you forever. Already the girl has chosen the pastor against her parents. She says she will go for her parents, her, her pastor, anytime, any day than her parents. But when she runs into trouble, she's not a young girl, an adult, a woman. But when she runs into trouble, she goes back to the parents. But I've told the mother, stop rescuing her financially. That is when she will learn. She's, she's making money. Where is, she, where is she putting her money? She's sewing into the ministry of her pastor. The guy is a young guy. He's not up to 50. He's not ready to work in America, but he's ready to use people's children to make money. Young adults. Many of these people, their credit card is finished. Many of these people have been bankrupt. This is America. This is America. It's happening live here. I will put out the program. If somebody can tell you Monday to Sunday, you have a program and you have to come. When he was even about to collect money from them, you need to come and see the, the, the fear he was creating in them to drop their money. And I was like, wow. Wow. His own scope is even different. There is no how you will enter that place you will call it church. What did he preach? Did he preach anything about self-development, about being good to your neighbor, about loving others, about, no, everything was about his, his business, his, the kingdom, his kingdom, the financing, the kinecon, the and creating fears. One, by one devil is running after them. One kinecon is running after them. That was what he was just saying. So, like this man too, he started with threats. He said, God will not answer their prayer. Who is telling them that? And if you, if you are following my page by now, you still believe prayers are magic. Or miracle that will just, once you say, oh Lord, bless me. And the blessing will come. You are deceiving yourself. Prayers are wishes. I stand on it. Prove it that it's not wishes. And I will prove it to you that they are wishes. I will tell you, prayers are what we want for ourselves what we think we need, what we think we want, and we crave it, we pray for it, just like wishes. Wishes are, oh, I wish I can have this. I wish I can have this. I wish I can have this. For example, I wish I can buy the latest, but your latest um, Lexus, and I put it into prayer. It is wishes. Does it mean I will have the car? No. Okay. Does it mean I will have the car? No. I have changed my number on um, on Facebook. So the number to call is different now. So I will. The other one I will not pick if anybody calls on it. Does it mean you have it? No. That is a wish. You want a child and you start praying. Oh God, I need a baby. I need the fruit of the womb. Bless me with the It's a wish. Hello? That is a wish. Prayers are wishes. I will prove it to you. 
you wish, you wish, you wish, you wish. If it is a prayer and it has to be answered, then everybody praying should have their prayers answered. Everyone praying, especially the people that pray more. Go and look at uh, Shoshi. Now, if you look at people that are in prayer department, now then they now poor people they plenty for where they, they do prayer department. Head of prayer department self. Now correct person will be say God of man, no say no get work. We know they busy. You can never see a busy person being made a, a prayer uh, something. I disagree with you on this. Prayers are not wishes. Yours is to pray and it is left to your creator to grant it. So how is it not a wish? How is it not a wish? Wish is something you desire, you crave for, you want. Okay? You translate it to, you, you call it prayer and you translate it to prayer. Abby? And whereas we have people who have brain, who don't believe in prayer, they are doing greater exploits. Their lives are better than you. They don't even pray. They don't even believe in prayer. They don't even believe that God exists. I'm not talking about that now. But they don't pray. Take it or leave it. Prayers are wishes. You can have your own opinion. It's all okay. But prayers are wishes in my own understanding. All I've come to realize since I understand this is to make a move. Make a move. Be contented. Whatever I can achieve, I can. I, I try to achieve it. The one I cannot achieve, I live. And there are some things you cannot explain without praying that will happen to you. If prayers are wishes, if prayers are not wishes, people have prayed when something bad is happening to stop and it's not stopping. If prayers are not wishes, Palestine and uh, Israeli, they are fighting. Prayers are supposed to don't stop that uh, their fights by now. If I don't stop them, They will not stop the fight. Are you telling me the pray people there are not prayer, praying? If they ask them, is their prayer, is their wish that what is going on will stop? But it's still going on. They will have called on God. They will have prayed. Why is it not stopping? Why is it not stopping? They will have prayed. I want to know who is I want to church. I want to know who is in the church. I want to know who is in the church. I want to know It should have stopped. Just like when I when Baba was saying that he was praying for Nigeria, and I said, Baba, don't pray again. These are ordinary empty wishes. You are just, <laughs> uh, you know what has been going on in that country. So which one is prayer again? The prayer we have been praying for 50 years and nothing has changed. Prayers are wishes. Prayers are, are wishes. Prayers are like a false hope to hang on. And that is why once people pray, they relax. Go and ask people who don't pray. They are very, very active. They don't relax. This prayer is why a lot of our people are L-A-Z-Y. Take it or leave it. That is why a lot of our people are L-A-Z-Y. Because once they do that, they leave everything to the creator. Just like you said. They leave everything to the maker. Just like you said. Leave, pray and leave everything to the creator to work it out. And they will be like, Mutifilolo unlowo. Mutifilolo unlowo. Mutifilolo unlowo. Uh-uh. I want to know why I have a phone on our own. Some things we cannot explain. And those are real sickness to make on the day day. And all that, I won't go I'm not talking about all those. I'm not going deeper into all that. But pray, prayers are not wishes. Yeah.
kiwani. They are false hope. Let's hold on to. And that is what has kept our people. Because each time they pray, they feel relaxed, they feel refreshed, they, they kind of feel comforted. And these people, that is why they are taking advantage of it and making money out of it. They gather you. Pray, 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 pray. The prayer of a fervent man availeth much. You need to pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Pray, 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 pray. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Pray, 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 pray. That's why they are getting more customers. Because people feel once they go there, they start praying, pray, 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 pray. They pray and they go back home and they start expecting miracle to work. It's a false hope. Giving false hope. How many prayers is uh, 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 all the rich people pray? Do they even have time to pray? We are so much into uh, after praying, God is in control, is taking charge. No, he's not taking charge. He's not taking charge. The world power is in charge. They are in control. Of course, some things will happen, nobody can explain. Some calamity, some good things will come your way. I can't rule those, those ones out. But to say prayers are not wishes, then I can as well close my eyes and say, Oh Lord, tomorrow I want to buy a car. I can as well say, Oh Lord, tomorrow let everything work for Nigeria so I can go back to Nigeria. Or for those people who are always the leaders in prayer department, the people who are in prayer, uh, prayer department, yes, prayer department, if you need to see how they pray, go and see them. I don't like to use that word, but they are the most. That is just it. Hello, we one now. The ones they gather as prayer department people. I was once there. Pray, 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 pray. Then open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. You want to open your mouth and pray. The God of man is thinking of the millions he's making, he's going to make. While you are praying, he's thinking of the next business venture he wants to put his money into. While you are doing pray, 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 pray. While they are telling you pray, pray, pray. He's thinking of the next thing that will propel his life better financially. Nibiti was he has gone ahead of you. He's not there with you. He's only there with you in body. In his mind, he's thinking of other things. Or, or the person that is there, that, uh, that, that, uh, that is a corporate person, or guy, Bishop, he'll be told you, pray, 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 pray. Oh, not in next, he'll be scared on law at the appointment, he told me. Why they are telling you, we have prayer for five hours. How many times have you seen the likes of, I want to go there, I want to know what When they said they have prayers for five hours, Prayer for 10 hours. Prayer for Kiniko. The people you will see there are hungry people. People like us who are struggling in life are the people you will see there. You will not see rich people there. You will not see people that are working. Life, that life, that, 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 that things are working for. Tonwa, okay. Financially, tonle for one wash, you will not see them there. The people you will see are people that yeti yangje. Ton suku kiri, ton badura kiri. Umbo, any suru. Marathon prayer. Kiriko prayer. When they call such prayer, you will never see people that they have the money. Think. Ton jaye, ton yo wala ti jaye gidi. You can never see them there. Oslas. Oslas. Bi awato gekwe. Ati tomo. 
a to no wo kan ton ikan ti fe ton ati won atu tin sare wa mi oluwa shanu mi oluwa shanu mi he owo sku awon mo yi o owo sku awon mo yi o oluwa shanu mi o owo ile wa ti fe ju he gbogbo card mi ma lo ti lole those are the people you will find there stop deceiving yourself you can never find people whereby one me from one meeting to close a meeting of billion deals. Meeting of one million deals. You can't find them there. You can never find them there. In other words, they have to put too much here. They have important things to undo than money. And don't come and say, when they are sick, they run to God. Uh uh. Only when they are sick, run to, to hospital, to pastor. Because when you are talking, you say that they are God. You have taken those people, you have put them in position of God. And that is why you will say, eh, let their money when they are sick, take care of them. Anybody who is sick, you know, saying our hospital is supposed to go. Not your pastor. Your pastor that you refer indirectly as God. He said, when they are sick, is it not to God they will come to? That means to your church because you have equated your pastor to be God. No. They won't be like uh, uh, Dora. Dora that was giving your daddy go around money for anointing her, despite being a NAFDAQ boss, despite all her education. So it is not always about education or no education. It is about how indoctrinated and how you are deep into this thing we are talking of. In those days, this is how I would talk too. I would say prayer is the key. I was there. In those days, I would say, ah, in those days, I would wake up in the middle. Thank you, Yaki's King. Somebody said on YouTube, yeah, on Facebook, yeah, prayer is just like a therapy to relax their anxiety. That says it all. Thank you very much for that. Hey, I remember in those days. I saw me and my husband, prayer. Prayer, family prayer. Family prayer. Family prayer. When it was time, when things were happen, I checked. Okay, I will still get to that on this pastor's uh, that we are analyzing. I will still get to that point. Now, he now went forward and said, you know, he started threatening them. We ogun, ogun bad day. I tell him to pray. I tell him to pray. To gumba my day, my day. Hello? Whether you pray, whether you don't pray. And that is why, despite your prayer, eh? Calamity can be for anybody. Despite your prayer, your good can turn to bad. Despite your prayer, if life will happen, it will happen. Despite your prayer, if storm will happen, it will happen. Something happened here yesterday. When it happened, I'm very sure a lot of people who they pray, then pray and they walk out and yes, something happened on that bridge. So calamity does not know whether you are praying or you are not praying. And that is why we they see God of man. The day you start accepting living reality, honestly, you will have peace. You will not be, oh Lord, save me. 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 Oh Every spirit of medicine, every spirit of kinika, I bind you. I cast you. You shall not see me. You shall not see my family. You will not carry, carry anointing. I annoy this house. I annoy this door. I annoy this kineko. Baba wala. Queen Sarah, Sarah. Whatever we be, we be. The future is ours to see. Queen Sarah, Sarah. Bind and cast from now till tomorrow. The God of man was saying, I, eh, Ogun, if they don't, if they don't, if they are not committed, ti Ogun bad day, Lord your ti Ogun bad day, she lo do ti ogun le ni bori awon pastor ton ku lai lojo ton ko ja 40 ton ko ja 30 ton ko ja 50 ni bo no wa togun fi mu won mo bere ni o ise togun ba de to ba dojo ogun where are you going to run to so that their four building can save anybody lojo togun ba de which ogun save is it the same ogun they are doing in uh, Israel that adura cannot hold I'm just asking, you know, is it the same Ogun that is already going on some places and nothing has been able to stop it? And they think it's their own fault building, that they are building, 
that will stop the Ogun. He said, Lord, you're to go bad day. Where are you going to run to? You see how they make themselves like they are the real refuge. They are the real covering for people. I'm glad I don't make them my covering. Mm -mm, not anymore. They make themselves feel like, now if you have your brain, you will now think deeply that if this place is my covering, if this building should now collapse, what will happen? Ogun Iraqi ni. Ti, ti break, kini ba wa break Ti building ye ba break Ti building ye collapse. So where will now be your refuge? Or ti that your God of man that will say you are running. Lo yoto gun ba de, ibi lo yin sabo. So that's your God of man. Lo yoto ba kunko, your refuge has been taken off. E gbe ni fun e ni to fi e le ran ra se gbekeli the day your god of man pai that means your refuge is gone and gone forever e se lojo to gun ba de where are you going to run to now he now said people are no more committed to god how do you know people are committed to god is it by going to church is it by being a worker is it by going to church every Sunday, every Monday? That makes people committed to God. How about people who don't believe in going to church, but they are touching great lives? How about when, how about people that are touching lives, but they don't go to church? It's just a simple question. Now, he said, uh, the, the logic is trying to make people work in his camp, in his business center. It's just simple. He wants people to employ, I mean, to apply more, to be worker. That was why he's saying people are not committed to God. He's saying indirectly people are not committed to his business center. Now, it makes it like they have, it's compulsory they have to come until they come to that place their life is not okay. And uh, now he now went further. He said, when the time will come, they are, if they are committed, they can tell devil, devil, you cannot take me. Devil, you cannot do this because I am committed, because I am kinikon. And that was where, this is where I'm going to. How come we see God of man where they preach on altar, then they fall down, then they cry. How come we see choir, and then they minister, then they fall down, then they cry. How come we see people where they perform miracle, then they cry. How come we they see people where we say, them they, them be God of man, calamity they befall them, it they befall everything about their family too. How come? So they cannot con command, they cannot command the devil. Marshals, Marshals, Bumi, Marshals, Ni. He said, You can command. If anything wants to happen, you can command. You command the devil to shake in a car. I command you, you cannot take me. He now went further. He said, Even if they want to buy, devil cannot buy anybody. Now, devil, they buy somebody. No be devil, now death they cry people when it is time. He said they can stop the time. Really? Really? Even the greatest man of God in Nigeria could not stop it when it was time. When it was time, the greatest man, maybe the greatest man of God in Nigeria could not stop it visiting his family. So who are you to think? Tell me one of your family member. And generation is yet unborn that has been able to stop it. That you say when Pai wants to come, they can command it not to come. A command Torani. I don't know what, what makes and they know they don't have any power. It's just the mumu under them that is enabling them. Oh, they know they don't have any power, but they know the mumu under them can listen and believe anything and everything. If not, how can you say you have power to stop Pai from happening? 
who has ever had that power? When two people will sit down together, when is this time? One will go. Two people will be inside bus. This life is a journey. When it is time, everybody will stop at their own bus stop. Either you like it or not. Nobody will stay forever. And the time you will stay, nobody knows it. The time you, the, the, the moment you start having that reality, you will have peace. And when you go, the only person, you, when you don't go, you don't come out. You don't finish your race. It be that. You don't finish it. Nobody has ever gone to go, go and come back to know what's going to happen there. All those nonsense they wrote for us are stories. Nobody. Give me evidence of one person. Why will it be only Oyibo that will come and tell us story? You think if something is, is if it's not true, Oyibo will show black people. Why do they believe nonsense from Oyibo? You think if it's something that is of beneficial, Oyibo will tell us. Oyibo that is making their visa tough for us. Oyibo will be saying even when you reach their country, there are some things you cannot, they won't allow you to do because of your color. Now then go come, tell us as it be. Why be saying now them? Why be saying now only them get narration and evidence of how heaven and hell be? It's just a simple question. That means our own generation, our own people never had the opportunity. We don't have anybody in our ancestors that went and came back. Why is it them that went and came back to write story? I be you see African name inside that Bible where you they read. You see African name. It's not our name. Even though they've made a lot of us to change our name. Up to today, I won't say I regret. But the name where they call my last one, I wish I can change it. But it's talk to the boy's name. Name. It's talk to him. Thank God he has changed it here in America. He's not using the same name again. But we still call him that name. Oyibo name. We call, we still call it Oyibo name. And up to this generation, we still have people believing that your God of man is going to heaven and coming back, driving Range Rover. And he said, it's all Range Rover. So for heaven, they even still know car. They know the name of car, where they reign. They know the name of expensive car, where rich people they ride. When I tell you, say this heaven are for rich people. Now for rich people, because now they they drive Range Rover. Your papa buy keke. I be your papa buy a uh, motorcycle. <laughs> you see how they, they deceive people he said you can command opportunity sit down in your house can command opportunity continue sit down in that your house I'm a child of the kingdom I am a child of the most high I command opportunity my way is not true who you know who you know I just they ask who you know where you command opportunity I command the opportunity. I don't know anybody, but I know my God. Because when you are supposed to make a move, you will be waiting for that connection for your father, for your father to connect you when you are supposed to make a move. You are looking for that bigger thing instead of you to be working your way and be contented. You are looking for that great opportunity that will catapult you to be a billionaire because you belong to a father that... Meanwhile, it's the same Bible that tells you that rich people don't go go heaven. I mean, not be the same Bible. Why are you striving to have great opportunity? Why are you striving to be rich? Why are you striving to have money? When the Bible says it will be tough for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. You are not supposed to strive to be rich. But what are all your God of men striving to be? Now then get the richest money. Now then be the richest. They buy jets. They buy this. They are even as rich as they are. They are still gathering more. They are never satisfied. They be like gluten. They be gluten. Correct gluten. Money gluten. Bring it. Bring it. And once they collect, their hand is like this. They are only to bring. Just bring. Just bring. Just bring. And once they collect, their hand become a kagum. Nobody, they open their hand again. And they keep getting richer. And this same God of man, they will never teach contentment. They will never teach for people to know that, look, oh, this life, person where nobody, everybody go rich. They will never teach that this life, oh, is full of surprises. 
They will never say that this life for oh, anything storm can happen at any time to anybody because they want you to believe. They don't want you to question their power of prayer. That is why they will tell you that um, they can pray against something and it will happen. No. Because they don't want you to believe that prayers are just wishes. Ah! My door is sealed with the blood of Jesus. My kiniko is filled. No kiniko shall come near me. The same of God of your men, your God of men. They are dealing with serious issues. They told me of a confirmed story. I'm still trying to get connection to the to somebody. Hopefully, I get that connection. Is a child of one of your geo, one of your senior pastors among us. I won't say the location. Hopefully, I get contact with that boy. They said that boy has run away from the family because the boy saw a lot, and despite that. What is happening in that family? They were telling me this morning. The same people that will come and present their life to you as if it is perfect. As if they don't have their ups and downs. As if they don't cry. As if they don't have issues. As if everything. They talk to God and God answer them immediately. It's a big lie. Ah, I share my sister. Good evening, my. It's nice seeing you again. God bless you, my sister. Only be the moment one ni. Moti poop and profile you down, so it be the moment one. Mo mo I know you are one of your teachers in mind builders. Thank you, my sister. Shall I feel a one more call? The package, and that is why a lot of people live in fallacy. A lot of people, in fact, moment so if they should do mental evaluation on our people, a lot of people are not mentally okay because of this. They are teaching and nonsense they are putting people's brain. Somebody said that is why in China a child is not allowed to take up religion until 18. Yes, exactly. It gets why. Yeah. They downloaded that pastor. This is a pastor that is still claiming he is doing miracle. He is doing miracle. Meanwhile, his house is scattered. A lot is happening. I want to get hold of somebody first. When I get hold of that person, if that person is ready to come out and talk, um, like I like I had, they said, uh, the <laughs> let me just keep it in for now. You see, all this pastor was trying to do is to gather more si le vous. He wants to gather more si le vous because he knows without them. He knows without them, nothing can be done. They need the see vu. In the days of old, people just go to church and go. Pastor self that will oversee the church is placed on salary. That was how it used to be. They are placed on salary. They will rent their own house for them. And But because since the advent of Awon, if one nine can become a pastor and Nigerians are clapping, a 419 that used to be a 419 kingpin after they arrest and release them is go start church and people are saying he's doing miracle i was listening to his preaching i said see my people i say see my people this guy that used to be one of the guys that was as it as it as the guy guy done restitution yes now 419 now i'll repage me mo post elano he used to be a 419, Freda Judua is not a secret, so I'm boldly saying it. He used to be a 419 in those days. Type it on social, type it on, on, on Google, it's there. I saw him preaching. Somebody sent a video to me. Oh, we preaching. Now, oh, the pastor, did he make restitution? Did he restitute? 
Our Kenny has repented. You will be surprised to see him in heaven. Like your father is in heaven. Like you have seen your own father and your grandfather. You don't go visit them for heaven. When you see the heaven. You will be surprised to see him in heaven on that day. On which day? On which day? He's now a pastor. And he's preaching. Go and Google his name. This is not a story. So I can boldly mention the name. Go and Google it. He is now a pastor. He is you know, I always say this thing that religion, especially this Pentecostal, is a very legal means to scam people and nobody will arrest you. And I said it last time that I did a show. I said, we just start because many will still come up. Many will still start. Many will still do it. How has he repented? Is he not still collecting people's sweats? Is he not collecting for offering and tithes? The offering and tithes is collecting. Is it for him? Did the Bible not say, in that same Malachi that they read for you, bring you the tithes and the offering to the store so that it shall be meat for people, for my people. Is he one person that is God's best people? It's for everybody. Even in the apostles, the book of apostles, they said you, they bring, the rich people, they bring, everybody bring, and they share it among people. They never said, bring the offering and the tithe and somebody carry the money and can go and cut it and become a very Babylonian. No. But what do we have in this Pentecostal and Pentiole? They use people to gather money, to gather money, to gather money. And when people need their help, they will never be able to get to help. When even the, the, they don't have anything to give to the poor, their own is to collect, to collect and to collect. So tell me how different is what he's doing from what he was doing before. What he was doing before was the legal way to make money. What he's doing now is a legal way to make money. Nobody can arrest him for it. This one he's doing now is a legal way for him to make money. Abi, is he not collecting offering and tithe? Is he not doing programs in his church? Is he not collecting a lot of money? Where is the money going to? Who is monitoring the money? Who is monitoring the fund? What are they doing with the funds they are collecting? It's a logical question I keep asking. I'm not defaming anybody here. I'm asking questions. All the money they are collecting, is it supposed to be for them? Whereby they will have needy people. Even the school they, they set up, how many of their members can go to their school? Anyway, make I begin with cargo. Time don't go. So, now the thing where I see be that, oh, we see another God of man. We go wake up eh, my body. He go meet them for heaven. He see Abraham. He and Abraham talk. <laughs> and people keep clapping for them. Leave judgment for God. Eh, if a politician knows he left from God do. Leave judge, leave politician for God to judge. They are human beings too. Abby, let's leave everybody to God. Leave me to for God to judge me too. I am human being. I am exercising my freedom of speech. Leave me for God. Let God judge me. In fact, you can even pray. Since you say prayers are working, as I they talk, self pray. Say make I know if you talk again. Make my mouth seal. Is what you can do. Now she be you have power. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. No fee so what do you Jesus started with prayer and ended the prayer. La fee do you Prayer is the master key. You won't have your body wager. Again, one man law. Prayer is the key. As you get to the key, chocolate drink, you go to two. Prayer is the key. La fido ponu. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Lo ponu fi pola niwa. Hey, prayer is the key. Hey, prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Lo ponu fi po. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Look for no fear. Again, my love. I love you guys. Mwah. Mwah. 
Love me or hate me. The liberation continues. A meeting at soft spread up, but you need dear, dear. A low and one page is low, to and one page is concon. A rajanya jaru are buying. A me if it are by like by she. Mumelo down. Becama Sherry, all you do is to create fear. You only know how to create fear. Fu I want on what I be you create fear and threats so that they can do your wish and do your will. That fear, anybody where they fear them, you know where. No fear them, nothing can do you. No, they fear them. All their threats, all their fear. Now lie, it cannot do you nothing. When anything happens to you, is either something has gone wrong somewhere or something is bound to happen. Not because you did not pray. Not because you did not go to their shrine. That their places na shrine. Then they bury something there. How far people say they be their customer. All this how far where they do juju. Then say they be their customer. Then they bury thing. When they don't rub something on their hand. They go don't rub something. I'm laying lie. They don't rub something before they put you their hand in your on your head. Especially your children. No allow them to touch your children picking. If you love yourself. If you like, they give your own head. But your picking head, no, they let them put their hand on your picking head. I want it. They, they, they will do anything. All these people, they will do anything to continue to put people under bondage and to make money. I'm a gentleman, mama. I'm a gentle girl. I don't like wahala. Play ya is a yeka shakini. A yeka party. Eh, pastor, no one go heaven again. You come out your eye for church money. Now, python get them. Members donate a bulletproof for the python. And the python get. She be in a say prayer, they walk. Why python no pray? Why go buy bulletproof? Ah, ah. There are so many questions I can ask you about your prayer thing that you are talking to. You know? Why prayer? Why Python they go buy bulletproof car? Why Python they use a uh, security guard? Why Python they carry person we carry AK-47 if prayer is not wishes? Prayer is the master key. Lord Omo, 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 Ijo. Python no they do prayer. If they do AK-47. Prayer is no master key for Python. Now for Omo, Ijo. Prayer is the key. Prayer is that no, it's no master key for Python. Python no, they do prayer. If they do AK-47. Prayer is no master key for Python. Even when it comes to money, prayer is not the key. Prayer is not the key. Now money, correct money be the key for Python. Python, they collect correct money. They invest correct money. Python no, they pray for money. Now more joy, they pray. Oh, my joy, they pray. Oh, my joy, they pray for money. Python, no, they pray for money. If they ask for money. Python, no, they pray for money. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining me on YouTube. Love you guys. Bye.